so a few weeks ago i was in the market for some new brats dolls so i decided to ask my instagram followers if i should buy the reproduction rock angels um and <laughs> well but i bought them anyways So yes, despite the hundreds of messages I received warning me not to purchase this line of breads, I kind of went ahead and did it anyways. But in my defense, this to me is almost like an experimental kind of thing. So I figured I'd kill two birds with one stone. Besides, the defects make for a good video. And it's Chloe. Oh, cool. She has a lot of accessories for $20. Oh my gosh. <gasps> you look at the belly button. Okay, hold on. Let's get her out. I have no idea what I'm doing. However, it feels like Christmas again. It feels like Christmas 2008. My face does look a little weird, hold on. I love this packaging though. It's really nice to look at. Oh my gosh, look. <laughs> Aww, that's so awesome. This is so nostalgic. Yeah, if you didn't know, I've spoken previously about how I kind of grew up with, with Bratz, and that's why I feel such a close connection with MGA and Rainbow High. I kind of feel like I'm back home, and, and it's really nice. So I kind of forgot to look at the box because there's so many nice details. Like, look at the speakers on the side. It tells you that there's a poster. If I had read that, I would have known, but I guess it would have ruined the surprise, I guess. Collectible display stand. So that's what this is. And look. <laughs> This is so pretty. This is like everything. And it, oh, there's a mirror. Oh, what is this little thing that it can scan? Hold on. <laughs> oh, phone wallpaper, what? What's all this? Zoom back. Oh, for my computer? Of my iPad? I love it. That's awesome. Gosh, she comes with so many freaking things. I did not expect all of this. Oh, it's glitter. Like, can you imagine being a child and getting this on Christmas or your birthday? The only girls with a passion for fashion. What about Rainbow High girls? They're rocking hot and rocking your world. Oh my gosh. So that is Roxy and that's Jade. But they all look super like my skin color i don't know i almost want to keep those boxes oh my gosh oh goodness i don't like her face like that for a chloe i'm not feeling it but i like it though i really do i don't know what kind of hair this is to me this feels like saran but i heard people saying that it was nylon i wouldn't be surprised either way because it's mga and they use nylon a lot for their rainbow high dolls she oops oh look She's blonde at the top, but her, oh my gosh, guys, I love this so much. So of course, here's her hat. It's really nice quality. It's supposed to be alligator skin. <laughs> I have no idea. I don't know anything about fashion, but this particular fabric here reminds me a little bit of Veronica's <laughs> um, boots again. Veronica is always finding a way to make an appearance in my videos, but look, it's just not oil slick, but it's pretty similar. Here she is the star herself of course i love that for her and then look at the microphone i love how everything's like plated they you know they didn't cop out with this i don't know if this was like this back in whenever they first came out i don't even know i should have done more research but i'm wondering if they were the same kind of quality at that time because look at this i would have been so stoked as a child to get this kind of quality and look she has more earrings <gasps> the phone <gasps> the phone and her earrings i think that's the necklace and more earrings unless these are like bracelets i don't know what those are i'll figure it out her glasses are so cool probably not gonna use them we'll see oh my gosh everything is so high quality and nicely presented she has a nice weight to her she's really small but she has a nice weight the expression on her face is flawless <laughs> i love when they look so sassy and look so diva-ish her face is kind of plain and she doesn't strike me immediately as chloe the screening is okay the screening is not bad like everyone's saying so i'll have to look at the other ones but i love the plated earrings the detail on this shirt those are little gems right there and i love the cut of it it's longer in the back look at the red lining on this zipper area here 
Look at the little zipper. So cute. Again, with this kind of fabric. I love when they use this. Oh, so you have the option to either close these or keep them open. Let me see how it looks with the closed. Stunning, of course. And then I was not expect like really they gave them piercings they were so daring back in the day mind you these are these are kids <laughs> these are high school kids so the fact that they would do this is such a nice detail and it's, it's actually realistic if you ask me and the fake leather around the strap the guitar is actually pretty nice quality as well you know it's nicely printed like you can see this like it's nicely printed i don't see too many flaws with this doll guys the only flaw that i've come across so far is the fact that her hair has a little bit of gel in it and it's literally just right here in the back. I don't know why it's there, but it's there. Her jeans are amazing. Look at the plated details and the red belt. Why include these? You didn't have to do that. If this is what we get with brats, I've been missing out. I love quality pieces and I love quality dolls. You get all of this, another outfit, this, a stand. You get all of this for like $24 what like <laughs> then again I, I love the jeans and how they have like that little glitter in them such a beautiful touch and i love the boots oh look at the hint of like black in there this is so intentional everything about this doll is so intentional and they knew exactly what they were doing look at the mold look how small that gets it feels nice to to the touch she doesn't have another pair of shoes which is a little bit of a bummer but again twenty dollars so someone did tell me on instagram that their heads are bigger her head does look pretty big but you know big heads equals you know more hair <laughs> i don't know i don't know why everyone was telling me not to get them i mean this has been like a a plus experience so far yeah i love her and i love this whole experience so let's see this is my second Delilah. But yeah, I recurled her hair and I used this, the curling iron. That video is on TikTok. Let me know if you've watched it. Okay, guys, so now we have Jade and Yasmin. Everything looks good so far. So Jade actually did have a defect that I didn't notice before. Her right eye is a little higher than her left eye. It's actually her left, but our right. Okay, so there are a lot of things that are similar to Chloe's um, box and everything that she comes with. It's pretty similar. You got the red phone. The skirt is a different color. Oh, that's a nice skirt. You see that? That's, hold on. Look at that. Um, I really like this hat. I think MGA does like these sorts of hats really well. So is this real metal? I believe so. I like that. And I like the little star here. That's pretty cool. But she has a lot of blonde. I feel like Chloe's hair should have been like this. Oh, is it slit? Oh, look at that. That's cool. Again, no nail polish. I would have liked for them to have nails or some kind of nail polish. Let's take this hat off. What kind of parting does she have? Oh, so she has a side part. Cool. Nothing too special. It's a pretty similar experience. Put a guitar in the comments if you're still watching this part. I, I don't know if people care for this like talking portion where I'm just like reviewing the dolls. I don't care the most for it. But yeah, let me know if you like these sections. Okay, so once again, it's the same stand and microphone. But right off the bat, I'm not sure if I like Yasmin's fit. Um, I think it's, it'll grow on me. <laughs> I think it's the forehead that's kind of throwing me off. Let me, hold, let me take this hat off because maybe I can style her in a way that kind of hides her forehead a little bit. Okay, yeah, that's that's way better. Her forehead is still huge, but her lips are bigger than ever. And then this jacket is really nice quality. It's super cute. It's like, it's actually puffy. I've never seen a doll with like a puffy kind of jacket. Well, that might be a lie. I don't know. I love her shoes and you know, the red bottom, of course. Okay guys, so it is now Monday morning of this week and sausages came. The girl that I am really excited to see, the one that I'm really interested in seeing if her screening is okay or not. Um, I'm a little bit confused. Um, because this isn't really the Sasha face that I grew up with, you know what I mean? I was really caught off guard by her really straightforward looking eyes. <laughs> Everyone else has side glances and she's just looking like, Hey, big, hey, barely get out. <laughs> I do think that she's cute. She's just not what I was expecting. Looking at the screening itself, it's not bad. Like, it's, she's not defected, I don't think. Is she? I think a big reason why their screenings look so weird is because of how big their heads are now. You know, she has really nice hair. I love the color of it, but I don't see why it was necessary to make their heads bigger. 
One thing that I noticed when taking her out of the box was this little thing here. Her foot, her little peg is like mutilated. So again, I wanted to show the difference between the new heads and the old heads. You can definitely tell the difference. I have no idea why they made the new heads bigger. I don't know who this character is, but I do prefer this head size because it makes, I don't know, I guess their forehead looks way smaller and it just looks better. Maybe they wanted to like, appeal more to older people or compete with rainbow high I, I have no idea again this is not yasmin i don't know who this is but they do have brown hair but this is saran hair this is actually saran and then this is nylon i don't know how to explain the difference but it's it's different <laughs> i might give her a boil wash as well but we'll see okay yeah so anyways i'm gonna go boil some water and then i'm gonna take their clothes off so i can give them a good hair wash and get this glue out of their hair and then we'll see how they look after. Um, but so far, so good. The only person that I can really tell has like screening issues is Jade. As you can see, her eyes high up. But I kind of like that because it gives her a little personality. And I, actually, out of everyone, ironically, her face looks the best to me. Out of everyone, she, to me, looks the prettiest. Okay, so I've taken off their clothes and I'm going to wash them in these shirts that they have on underneath their first outfits. I already have some water boiling. And so now we're just going to head over to the sink and get them cleaned up. So let's go.
So when it comes to boil washing this particular grade of nylon, it's pretty much unnecessary. Their hair turned out a little poofy, of course, as always the case with nylon hair. So I ended up going through their hair with a curling iron, but I used it as a straightening iron because I don't actually own one. I'm going to invest in one very soon, but yeah, I did what I could. And I know now that you can straighten their hair, so that's good knowledge because I do plan on getting a few more new um brad's dolls like i don't know if her name was kumi kumi i don't know but it's on amazon and she has black nylon hair and she's so beautiful guys so i'm disappointed because i don't like their hair i don't like their hair it's nylon and it should have been so hair and now it's poofy and i don't like it like that <laughs> so yeah. oh another she shirt. <laughs> I, I've been looking on Makari and I've been looking at different options. I don't know which dolls have saran hair and which ones don't. But it's weird because these ones say 2001 on the back. So how would I be able to identify? And how is that true anyway? When it, the heads are bigger. Did, they, did the Rock Angels have big heads back then as well? Yeah, I don't know. I'm going to buy a few more um, second hand from Makari. And then we'll see how those turn out. But this nylon thing isn't working out. <laughs> yeah, I guess that's it. I guess I'll stop. I'll um, finish the video now. Okay, guys. So the brats are all finished and washed up. I'm just going to talk about my overall viewpoint and how I feel about the um, Rock Angels brats in general. This was the other girl. I don't remember her name. Um, I got her on eBay a few months ago, and I boil washed her hair last night, and this is how she turned out. Let's see. And she actually has saran hair, so I suspect it'll be pretty nice. If you know who this character is, please let me know, because she is very common, but I never knew her name. Yeah, you know, saran is definitely superior. <laughs> okay, so first we have Chloe. I'm honestly stunned at how she turned out. Um, I tried a few different things with her hair. It didn't totally work out. Well, I wouldn't say that it didn't work out. I tried to curl her hair, but I didn't really care that much for the results. So I just sort of re-straightened it and let it kind of do its own thing. But I'm stunned. <laughs> I, her little thing fell off, so don't mind that. I, have to, I can put it, another one on. Yeah, I really like the way that her face looks with the glasses like halfway down. And I mean, here's her face without the hair. I gave her some like little braids. She's actually the only one that I did, like a little restyle for, but not really. I just want to see if I can curl their hair. I gave her her second earrings. I think she looks so beautiful. She does not have any defects to my knowledge. Maybe you guys will know better than I can, um, but here's her face. I think that she's really pretty. Um, her eyebrows, just like everyone else, are super far apart. Next up, we have Jade, the beautiful Jade. Look at that. Oh my gosh, she's stunning. But I actually really like Jade's hair color. Um, you guys know that I'm not the biggest fan of MGA's like white hair or any white hair in dolls um, in general because they don't typically use a, a high grade of it. It's always really thick and it's like kind of bulky. As you can see, when I run my, like, it just, it feels, you know, kind of dry at the ends. I'm not the biggest fan of the white hair, but 
I do think that the color itself is really beautiful. I'm happy that they opted to do this striped kind of look with Jade. I think it suits her really well. I gave her sec oh, sorry, that's her, her necklace, beautiful. And then I also gave her second um, earrings. So I love these earrings so much and I think it frames her face really well. I'm so happy that they decided to give her a side part and like a side glance because it works so well together. Even though this eye, out of all of the dolls, she's this is the only defect of the whole one. Actually, no, it's not. No, it's not. I lied. But yeah, this is like the only face defect of all the dolls. So I love her clothes. Her necklace won't stay in place. But I love her torn shirt with like the fishnet underneath. Um, I do love that they include these like little piercings. I think that's so cute for a doll line to do that rather than us adding it ourselves. Um, her pants are ripped. I didn't mention that earlier and I love that so much. And I love this real chain. It's so cute with a star on the side. It's really, it's everything. And then we have her bracelets. I love these bracelets so much. I'm so happy that they gave them to her. Yeah, I think that it worked out really well. I'm so happy. I just wish that she had a little bit of a better hair quality. Yeah, that's Jade, I love her. And now we have one of my faves of the line, Miss Yasmin. Oh my gosh, Yasmin, she just gives everything. First of all, she has the best hair because her hair is like the flattest and it's the softest. As you can see, the comb just like glides right through it, like no snagging, nothing. I did go through it with the curling iron. I used the curling iron because I don't have a straightening iron yet. <laughs> um, but it ended up working out and I just didn't, I just like thoroughly, not thoroughly, but I just really briefly went through it and, you know, straightened out some flyaways or whatever. But overall, her hair is really nice and I love the color. Um, it's typical Yasmin colors. I have her standard earrings and her standard necklace or choker or whatever that is. Look, her guitar falling off, hold on. What really got me was like the glasses. I think Yasmin with these glasses, and I'm so happy that they included them, but she, I mean, she's rocking it. She looks astounding. She looks sassy. She looks like she's that girl, but she looks so nice, you know? Like she looks like a, a popular kind of girl that you might be intimidated by, but that's still really nice to you. That's the vibe that she's giving, and I, I think that she looks awesome. I also gave her this bracelet. I don't know. I think it's Sasha's, if I'm not mistaken. But her arm was looking a little too bare because I didn't like the jacket, so I decided to opt out of that. <laughs> and I just put the um, bracelet on and just had this shirt, and I love this, like, overall, like, look. Like, this is so Yasmin. So, yeah, she's one of my faves. Okay, and so now we have the most interesting, I would say, and that's Sasha. First of all, her hair, I used the straightening or curling iron once again to kind of go through it because it was really puffy afterwards. I don't really know why, but I do love the hair color itself. I think that it suits Sasha and her skin tone really amazingly. But as I mentioned earlier, Sasha has a really weird face. I don't know exactly why. Again, with the glasses thing halfway down, this is what she looks like with the glasses all the way up. It's still really pretty. I don't know, her face just looks odd to me. I don't know if it's because of her straight glance or if it's because of the far apart eyebrows or the bigger face. I'm not too fond of it. Definitely not too fond of it, but I still like it though. And I still feel somewhat connected to it. It's so beautiful. I love her jacket. And also you can go like this with it. You can do that with it. There's like a little Velcro thing there. So I think that's so cute. Here's the back of it. Yeah, she just has her regular boots on. But overall, I really like this outfit. Her hair is super soft after the straightening um, thing. I didn't straighten it all the way because it was a curling iron. So I just straightened the like the outside pieces, like these blonde pieces here. And again, she is the second defect, <laughs> defected one of the entire ones that I have. I really like this line. I think that it's definitely worth the money. They come with a lot of um, accessories. And, you know, I think that this makes for a great Christmas gift um, for $24. Actually, you can get them on Amazon for $21 at the moment. I think that that's a really good deal. I really do, and especially if you're a Bratz fan already, already as it is. Or if you have, like, a, a kid and, you know, you're in the market for Christmas gifts, like I said. I think that they're really good options because there are a lot of things on the market that are really expensive now as far as the dolls go. And um, I think that these are really competitive um, i know a lot of people they all have really soft hair a lot of people will be happy with this a lot of kids will be happy with these um and i think that these are definitely a win in my opinion maybe like i don't know maybe my bar is like super low but i, I really do feel like you get a lot 
for $21. So yeah, as I said, I'm gonna try to find more third party ones online. And hopefully I can get more like this with Saran because I really like this material. And it's like really bouncy and it's really heavy. Now, that's another thing with those ones. Like they have bigger heads, but they're, they seem to be lighter than this one. And that's because their hair isn't as heavy, but you know, I feel like that gives them a cheaper feel. Like this is easier to comb through as you can see, like it just glides through. The Saran is a little bit weird, but that's just the properties of Saran. I do think that it looks better and it behaves better. So yeah, thank you guys for watching. I guess that'll be all. I know that this is a weird kind of video, but um, I'm excited to do more Brad's videos. I'm gonna try to get on Makari and buy like 20 dolls. <laughs> Hopefully I can do that because I think a lot of them are pretty and hopefully I can get some older ones from like when I was a kid, like 2005, 2001, 2 or whatever. I don't really, I don't really want to get 2010 and up because I don't know if they use my long hair or not, but I'm not too much into that. So yeah, and I also want to get some newer ones from Amazon as well. So we'll see how that whole thing turns out. But um, yeah, thank you guys for watching. I love you all and I will see you in the next video. Bye.